we got to appreciate what God has given us. Look at this beauty that God provides in our life. The way that he cares for nature. The way that he cares for the birds and the trees and the rivers. And we wonder and we cry out, why don't you see me? God does see you. God does see me. You see, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta appreciate what God does for ourselves and for our surroundings. We gotta care for nature. <laughs> We have to appreciate the moments that we have with God. It is amazing how God can love us so much. He created this wonderful, beautiful place just for you and I. And yeah, sometimes we wonder if we're seen. And yes, yeah, sometimes we wonder if anybody cares. But God does. If he would make all this beauty. All this beauty. For each of us. To appreciate. To love. To come to. To visit. To, to walk through. To exercise in. You know we do have to take care of it. We got to make sure it's here. For the next generations. That come our way. We must manage things wisely. But we must also use what God has in abundance. You see, ladies and gentlemen, God didn't just make this stuff for us to play with. God made it available for us to use. So, <laughs> if he makes all this stuff for our lives, to fulfill our lives, to make our lives better, then we, as a human race, should love each other more should care for each other as much as we care about the trees and the brooks and the mountains and all the different things we got to care for one another we got to love one another i see a lot more care going into the trees and the bushes and the rivers and the lake than i do for each other you know ladies and gentlemen we should take a lesson in what god has provided for human beings to survive and take our love of nature and apply it to our love of each other. You see, ladies and gentlemen, God loves you. God loves me. He made all these beautiful things so that we can flourish. And without each other, all of this is lacking the most valuable thing that God has ever created. And that is every individual that is breathing air today. Every individual that can walk around, every individual that can appreciate what God has done, we must love each other. It's great to just love nature. That's a good thing. But you can't just love nature. You must include man and woman in it too. No matter the skin color, no matter the race, no matter the political belief, no matter the vaccine, you know, if they're vaccinated or not. We can't apply those things God's commandment that we must love each other. So ladies and gentlemen, I pray that as you get out, wherever you are in the world, I just happen to be here in the Rocky Mountains today, to appreciate the beauty that is around us, that you appreciate your neighbor next door, that you appreciate the guy across the street, that you appreciate your family as much as you do the beauty that is God's creation. I love you. I pray this helped you in some way. You see, ladies and gentlemen, we apply so much to the beauty of nature that we don't even apply to the beauty of our fellow man and woman. Amen. Let's get those priorities right. I love you. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Get out. Take a walk today. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>